set off from our campsite early this morning and just gone a few miles south on our way to Bracken Beacons and we've just dropped in at Mumbles. It's a place we haven't been to before. It's a beautiful sunny day. Just taking Louis for his morning walk. We'll have a quick look around here. Obviously a good bay for sailing. A lovely wide slipway. Some floating moorings out in the bay as well. The remains of a mirror dinghy. Just needs a bit of liquor paint, a bit more varnish. Yet another slipway. You can never have too many slipways. And there's a pier with an old lifeboat station on the end, by the look of it. It's a lovely, lovely bay. I can see why there's so many sailing dinghies around here. This must be the new lifeboat station. Apparently, lifeboat station and a fishing pier. So that's probably to unload some fishing for the bigger ships. That was Mumbles. Absolutely lovely. I'd love to spend more time here. It's just really nice. Love the pier, love the seafront. Looks really good for water sports as people with surfboards and stuff. So yeah, winner this one. Really good. Moving on, down to Bracken now. Yep. behind the waterfall. <laughs> it's more of a trickle today, all this hot weather. 
a nice place. Nice and cool down there. Think of that then? Yeah, fantastic. Come off the edge, Louis. Really, really nice, but you can tell that we've had no rain. It's very <laughs> bit of a trickle. Bit of a trickle. So yeah. But it's right. This is the Brecon Beacons. Nice. So we've quickly got into here. Had a look at the water trickle. Louis weed up a few things. Now we need to go and find somewhere to stay for the night. He absolutely loves it down there, doesn't he? <laughs> he certainly does. Go on, Louis. This is the car park we stopped at, free of charge, National Truff Car Park. Not very big, but there was plenty of spaces for us. Oh, it's hard work going back up that hill. I think Joe will be about another hour. Here she comes. It's a bit steep that, isn't it? Yeah. I said you'd be an hour later, you was only six minutes. Did you run up? Sorry? Did you run up? Yeah, athletic. It's hot, hot, hot. just found this campsite near Huon Wai and it's right next to the river which you can fish on and we've just got this little hideaway here next to the river bank. How much was it a night Joe? Um, £6 each I think and um, £10 for the fishing, £1.50 for Louis I think and then two quid for the big bag of goodies of all. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't do chips? They've got a cafe. Uh, Have they? Oh, got, they might even do chips. They might even do chips. It's a really nice place. I don't know if you remember, but I think this place was featured on one of the TV programmes, one of the house restoration programmes. It was a couple who bought a house and a toll bridge. And it's a pound to cross the toll bridge. And the back of their house is where you can uh, have something from the cafe or camper of the night. Time for a beer. There he goes into the distance. Is it cold? Can you see them fish? You can see them, yeah. It's like one of them fancy spas you get them to clean your feet. It is. Quite tickly. Oh, second tiny fish of the day. That 
Tinker Bell. At least we caught one. Have you? Oh yeah, I can see them. They're all going all over you. Number three. Another tiny fish. Probably the same one. Number four. Same size. Another little grayling. Here we are, back in the camper van, after a busy day, we've made a curry, a lovely curry, and used most of the pots and pans, very nice, yeah. we've had a busy old day, we started the day in Gower, at the Three, Three Cliffs caravan site, then we went down to Mumbles, then went to Swansea to sort our Wi-Fi out, and then we went into Brecon Beatons to have a look at the waterfall. Then we headed up to Ross and Wye and found this lovely campsite. And I've been fly fishing. And tomorrow I think we're going to stay one more night here before we head up home. And I'm going to go kayaking up the river and maybe a little bit more fishing. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to have a day of rest I think with Louis. And yeah, see what else we can cook. So we've cooked the curry in the camper van and we have done... Da, da, da. No chips though. No, but we've done naan breads on the Ridge Monkey. Which but they are damn, from which, Tesco. <laughs> which was a damn sight easier than chips. Nicer. <laughs>